63. I know people. I cringe nowadays when someone tells me, I know people. I used to say that, but I very early found out how wrong I was about many, many persons. Usually the person who tells me he knows people is in the process of making a bad mistake about someone. How can we know people? Solomon said, Man's goings are the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Proverbs 20, 24. No man fully knows himself because man is not a finished product. He changes and he grows. I have seen men of 70 and 80 change and grow and men of 20 refuse to grow. As the years pass, we see various people we depended on sometimes falter and fail because they refuse to grow under pressure. Sometimes we also see very weak men become surprisingly strong. If we are honest about it, we will admit that many people have disappointed us or surprised us over the years. We cannot say, I know people. God alone knows the heart of man and he alone knows the beginning and end of all things. We do know people to a degree and we can rely on people to a degree, but our knowledge is limited and partial. We change, as do all men. What we can say is this. I know the Lord. He is, quote, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. God says, quote, I am the Lord, I change not. Malachi 3, 6. This is our security, the salvation, care and protection of an unchanging God. In the face of this fact, the troubles of our world and the weaknesses of our friends are small facts. We can and do know God, not exhaustively, but truly. God reveals himself in his word and in his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. He is true to himself and does not change. Here, at the most important point in our lives, there can be no disappointment. J. Wilbur Chapman's hymn Jesus, what a friend for sinners, has these happy lines. Friends may fail me, foes assail me, he, my Saviour, makes me whole. Knowing Christ is to know salvation, strength and victory. Knowing man is not knowing much. <laughs>